Hello, I'm Shane Shapiro, Assistant Professor of Orthopedic Surgery at Mayo Clinic and Mayo Center for Regenerative Medicine. I am the Program Director for our Regenerative Medicine Therapy Suites on our Florida campus. I'd like to tell you a bit about how we are using stem cells to treat common sources of musculoskeletal pain. Stem cells are precursors of normal adult tissues that can evolve to become mature tissues like bone and muscle and cartilage. Stem cells have been known to exist normally in multiple parts of the adult body since the 1960s, but only recently have we begun to extract them from places like bone marrow and fat where they are abundant for the purpose of orthopedic regeneration. For this reason, stem cells have enormous potential to serve as the foundation for a new type of medical practice called regenerative medicine. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, Minnesota, and Arizona, as part of our Center for Regenerative Medicine, we have begun work with stem cells to heal common areas of bone and joint pain. This includes almost all major joints of the body. I'm especially pleased to report the early results of a clinical trial that we have conducted over the past few years. This study, published recently in the American Journal of Sports Medicine and conducted alongside FDA monitoring, is the first randomized placebo-controlled trial to put these stem cell techniques to the highest level of scientific rigor. This is important given the large number of clinics in the United States and around the world offering stem cell treatments from both bone marrow and fat, despite relatively few research studies confirming their efficacy. Our results are exciting. Notably, we were able to demonstrate the procedure is safe to perform. Patients did well, and there were no side effects. Additionally, we were able to count the actual number of stem cells in the bone marrow that we had harvested and concentrated. We were also able to show the procedure produced cells that were viable, meaning they were still living at the time we implanted them, something that is not always the case in other forms of cell therapy. Specifically, when we treat patients with human cell therapy, whether it be the patient's own cells or cells that are manufactured in a lab, we need that product to be viable, meaning living and capable of functioning in the body the way we want them to function. We fear too many of the stem cell therapy products being marketed today may contain non-viable cells, which would not be expected to perform any biologic function at all. Given that this was a phase one trial, we are primarily concerned with safety and feasibility, and now we have proven both. Of course, patients who are considering stem cell therapy will want to know if it works, and it certainly seems that it works well for pain relief for a defined period of time. What is less clear is how the stem cells work to relieve pain, and whether or not they truly work any better than many of the other injection therapies we commonly use in orthopedics to relieve joint pain. Also, we have yet to conclusively show that we know how to make these cells actually regrow cartilage inside the joint. This is something that is yet to be determined and needs to be further studied. But patients should absolutely be aware of it because if they are going to undergo a stem cell procedure, they need to know that at the present time, we are still just treating the symptoms of arthritis and do not yet have the ability to cure the disease entirely. Nevertheless, the results of our study have enabled us to comfortably offer this procedure to our patients in clinical practice. Additionally, it has empowered physicians and scientists at Mayo Center for Regenerative Medicine to continue searching for answers to complex questions like how we can use stem cells to regrow cartilage, prevent costly joint replacements, and even cure arthritis. Therefore, if you've investigated or even tried many other orthopedic treatments for osteoarthritis, we now have a safe and viable alternative to treat joint pain that could provide significant relief for an extended period of time, even if we cannot completely cure the arthritis. This procedure may not be for everyone, however. If you have severe arthritis, commonly referred to as bone on bone, your chances of pain relief may be less. Also, these newer procedures are not commonly covered by insurance companies, Medicaid, or Medicare at this time. 
For more specifics on the actual details of the procedure, we have created a condensed video of the technique linked below. To request an appointment, visit mayoclinic.org. Thank you.